everybody happy tuesday hopefully your morning is going well my morning is going well um today 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 let's talk about the deals but before we talk about the deals don't forget to thumbs up the stream it helps me with the algorithm it helps youtube know we out here in these streets so thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up the stream it helps also shout out to my mvp riders thank you thank you thank you for always supporting me thank you for holding your girl down and watching any and everything i post so also shout out to my replay gang shout out to my emoji crew emoji crew shout out to everybody let's talk about these deals let's talk about the deals oh it's 11 11 make a wish success health multiple streams of income and positivity so yes let's get into these deals y'all the police is sitting directly in front of me <laughs> i guess they be thinking because y'all know i don't usually stream up here but for some reason because i be coming up here sometimes they don't get it so anyway happy tuesday everybody happy tuesday good morning Yes, good morning. Happy Tuesday. If you haven't noticed or if you haven't looked at the website yet, y'all should know because we've been talking about this or we talked about it yesterday. Bath and Body Works is doing a sale on fun sizes, meaning minis. Bath and Body Works has the minis on sale for $2.95. Yes, yes, yes. If you're sipping with your girl... Put a one in the comments. Let me know if you what you're sipping. You might be sipping tea. You might be sipping soda. You might be drinking coffee. Leave that down in the comments, y'all. Hopefully, again, hopefully your morning has started off well. Ding. Oh, my bell. Where my bell at? Let me grab my bell, y'all. Let me grab my bell. Okay, here we go. Let me grab. I keep on forgetting. But, ding, yes. So, if you sipping with your girl, put a one in the comments. Let me know what you sipping on. Let me know what you eat because your girl is hungry. So, do all those things. Also, let me know, are you shopping the fun size sale, the $2.95 sale? I did go to Bath & Body Works, so I do have my stuff that I did purchase. It wasn't a lot. It's just a little bit. Just some things that I feel like I want or need because... Yeah, I just kind of want to try them. Y'all know we haven't had a, a real good, well, we have had a good sale. But y'all know mega release day was yesterday and a lot of new stuff came out. And your girl wanted to get her hands on one item that did come in the travel size or the mini. So I did grab that one item. Leave that in the comments. Let me know. Are you going to shop this sale? Is it a total pass for you? You holding out for candle day because y'all know can't, not candle day, but the candle sale. Y'all know the candle sale will be Wednesday all the way until I want to say Sunday. But again, like I told y'all yesterday, we haven't got any information about Sunday's deals. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a sale Sunday or like if the candle sale is going to extend on to Sunday. But I do know from Wednesday to Saturday. So yes, y'all, leave in the comments. Let me know what are some items that I should be running for again I should have put that in the title. This is going to be a mini. Oh, pancake. I don't eat pork, but pancakes, sipping on water. I'm sipping on water as well. I should let y'all see the police. When I say she's directly in front of me and I'm in a parking spot, I'm in a parking spot. So they can't say nothing. I'm streaming. I'm not doing anything, but it's a police du directly in front of me. <laughs> I don't know why, but whatever. Okay, so yes, leave in the comments. Let me know what are you going to buy. You did some shopping. You drinking water. Um, you was in the store yesterday. Got a fruit. Yes, yes, yes. Also, yeah, y'all. What did you buy from the Bridgerton collection? Leave that down in the comments. Also, um, yeah. 
What do you think about the Bridgerton release? Has a lot of stuff sold out in your store? When I went yesterday, they were still putting stuff out in the store so everything wasn't set but i did just go to that store just a minute ago and the whole display is set up and i started to go i started to to record to do a walkthrough but this morning they sent me on a random so that's the reason why i'm streaming a little bit late today did y'all get y'all powerball tickets y'all mega million i'm just saying it's up there I'm just saying. So, leave in the comments. This is not going to be a super, super long one. But leave in the comments, what do you think about Bridgerton? Did you buy everything? I know we all kind of waiting for the candle sale to buy the Bridgerton candles. Did you buy the wallflowers? If you did, what do you think about them? Now, I did smell all of them. Charlotte's, not Charlotte. Um, Danberg's. What is it? Danberg shortbread. Mm, mm, mm. So good. So good. It's giving me like sugar cookie, sugar cookies. So if you love that type of scent, you will love that one. Now that Wisteria Garden, I'm not really feeling that one. If you love like the greenery scent, um, like, mm, like how balsam is. If you love scents like that, you will love that one charlotte's um tea let me, matter of fact let me push pull it up charlotte's um tea oh uh, this one charlotte's tea is giving me very much tea that that tea that tea scent oh uh, let's see we all know about um diamond of the season we already know that one is more of a peach fruity scent love it um the sharp bread one like i said is very much sweet almond sugar cookie like to me leave in the comments what do you think about it that wisteria garden i don't i don't really like that one i don't like that one also um charlotte's tea to me, it was very tea forward, in my opinion. And then as far as the Bridgerton, what's the name of it? Bridgerton Study. Bridgerton Study is more of a masculine scent. Um, I don't really get like a study or a library or like a like a book note. I don't really get that. But leave that down in the comments. What do y'all think? I kind of feel like it kind of go, but... It's very masculine to me. My daughter really liked that one. Also, did y'all grab any of the hand sanitizers? What about like the pocket back holders? Did y'all grab any of those items? Leave that in the comments. Let me know. Um, again, like I said, I'm waiting for a candle sale before I'm able to buy any of this stuff. Especially if we have a buy one, get one sale. If we have that buy one, get one sale, then yes, I will go ahead and buy that one. But I'm still, good afternoon. Is it afternoon? I'm still kind of sort of on the fence about Wisteria Garden because I, I'm, I'm really not feeling that one. I'm really not feeling that one at all. And um, let me see. Wisteria Garden is rosewood, English rain, and lemon petals. Now, when I smelled it, I didn't really get lemon petals. To be real, real honest, I didn't, I didn't get none of this. To be real, real honest, I didn't get almost rosewood. It gave me like greenery. I don't know if that's Eng the English rain in it or is it the lemon. It didn't really give me like lemon. So, yeah, leave in the comment. You love Wisteria Garden on the wildflower? The wildflower. I, see, I'm going to have to do the wildflower hack just to really get a sense of the smell. I just really opened it and then smelled it from there. I really didn't, like, do the wildflower hack to really get a sense of what the scent is. But to me, out of all of them, this the one that I don't really care for at all. So, um... But to me, out of all of them, I think I like Dansburg um, shortbread the best. 
that's my that's probably my number one and then yeah <laughs> that's probably i think um the shortbread one and then diamond of the season is probably my top two that's just how i feel um yeah so about the pocket bags what is your favorite pocket bag when it comes to this bridgerton collection y'all already know the b hopefully you seen my community post when i posted with the chocolate um stanley cup with the b um pocket back holder on it so nice so nice i did not keep it on there because of the little gold thing that i had it hooked to that it kind of twist and it was very loose and i most definitely didn't want to glue that on there so i just took the picture and took it off you say like, what the b light up i don't know if the b lights up i don't think so Oh, you talking about with the plug? I did not know that. Because I bought the plug, the Bumblebee plug from a couple of years ago. I've never, ever plugged them up. Never, ever plug them up. I got like a fake tree that's in my room. And I just kind of hang them from there. So for me, they're not really an item that I'm going to use. It's more of an item that I have just for decorations. So yeah. But as far as that B pocket back holder, I'm most definitely going to grab another one. One, because I want one to hang from my keys. I'm going to take the little plastic part, part off of it. I want to take that part off and then hang it on my keys. So, yeah, that's the reason why I'm going to probably grab one of those, another one. But I don't want to use my rewards. I really don't want to use my rewards for it. My lipstick look a little crazy, y'all. I'm sorry if my... Uh, if my lipstick look crazy, but whatever. So, yes. Now, let's move on and talk about... Um, let's talk about the community has spoken, y'all. The community has spoken. In this little segment, let's talk about... Um, the everyday luxuries now the everyday luxuries has been out for a day in my area probably longer in your area what is your favorite which one that you you feel like is a run we must be chasing it we gotta have it don't skip out on it get this one asap leave that in the comments now a lot of people or some people is slightly upset that Bath & Body Works is doing this. So my question of the day is how do you feel about the everyday luxuries? Because you know the everyday luxury is like dupes of higher end fragrances. So how do you feel about the everyday luxury? Are you upset that Bath & Body Works is doing this? Are you upset that Bath & Body Works is doing a whole dupe collection? Or are you happy? Or is it just like any other um, fragrance that's released? Leave that down in the comments, y'all. Now, the ones that I feel like y'all should be running for is the ones I had showed y'all yesterday. The Lost... Um, Let me go to it. The... The Lost... Um, what is it called? okay where is it at um if you must y'all yeah, know i love that one and it's supposed to be like glossier you that fragrance i have not compared them yet but they do supposed to be very very similar and the other one is lost something y'all lost in santal lost in santal supposed to be like lalabo santal 33 Y'all know, and I keep on saying, I absolutely love, love, love that scent. I love that scent. So, no matter what, what they make in it, your girl gonna buy it. Because that's just, that's just my scent. And the only reason why I haven't actually bought the actual perfume is because it's expensive for one. And for two, it's more of a skin scent from the reviews that I've seen. So, 
for a perfume that clo that costs close to three hundred dollars, mm -mm. I'll just rather buy the dupes. So that's what I did. I bought the dupes, and I always buy the dupes. So it is what it is. <laughs> But y'all tell me, what are the ones that's a must-have? Again, now, when I do, I'm going to buy all of them. But I'm going to exchange two more bottles. What the skin scent means? That means that other people can't smell it. It's more like, you know, like if you put some lotion on. You know, if you put lotion on, you know, you smell it, but no one else is smelling it. It just sticks. It's, it's closer to your skin. That's why they say a skin scent. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. But that's mainly what a skin scent is. If somebody reached in and gave you a hug, they could smell it. But if they kind of fart back from you, then they probably they probably won't. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, y'all. I like that musk and the i like that whole clean collection is super super nice now i kind of feel like that lavender one kind of sort of smells like the lavender and iris a little bit that's just my opinion y'all that's just my opinion everybody smell things different so leave in the comments let me know what do you think about it also that musk one smells and i'm gonna put i'm gonna put a post on my community tab because i do have a perfume and when i tell you it smells very similar to it very very similar to that scent um yeah i think the only difference is in in the musk scent is i forgot the notes that quick let me see here we go right here the musk had musk in it whereas that perfume had vanilla that was the only difference the scent notes is musk mimosa flower and rice milk the perfume had all those same notes except it didn't have musk it had vanilla instead and when i tell you they smell so similar so so similar the police just now leaving y'all She's just not leaving. <laughs> but they smell so, so similar. So similar. It's just that the perfume smells a little bit um, sweeter. The perfume is slightly sweeter, whereas the musk is a little bit warmer. But they smell so, so similar. So I do like that. And I still feel like, even though I might be wrong, y'all, I might be wrong, but... I feel like the apple one smells just like country apple to me. That's just my opinion. My daughter seems to think it smells like sweet pea. I don't think that. So what do you think? What do y'all think about um, the clean routine collection? Off topic, dude. I don't know. I didn't get the chandelier. I passed on that. Only thing I got was all the bumblebee stuff. That's the only thing I really wanted. But um, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Now, for us, this everyday luxury, the next two that I'm going to get is the Petal Parade, and then I'm going to get Pink Obsessed. So those are the next two that I'm going to get. I'm going to just go ahead and... um, mm, I might have to try that. You know what? And that probably will give me that perfume. Let me see what the scent notes is that or that one is. This one. So far, I'm loving this car, y'all. The fact that I could be online right now, love it. Love it. So the um uh, vanilla viva, or is a uh, viva vanilla is plum, amber, and vanilla. I think I don't think I'm gonna like this one because of that plum note. I think that's the only thing that's kind of going to throw me a little bit is that plum note. But again, I'm going to have to smell it, y'all. I'm going to have to smell it to really get into it and really see. I should have smelled them while I was in the store, but I'm like, I'm just going to grab my stuff and go because it's already late. Had to do that random test, and that took, that took almost an hour. 
So I just grabbed my stuff and I left and I said, I'm just going to go to the store tomorrow, especially since it's a candle thing. But I might wait until Friday to actually do my candle shopping. So it's good. It, can you smell the plum in it or is it more vanilla? Now, if it's more vanilla, then yeah, like a warm vanilla. Not to be like warm vanilla, the body care, not to be like that one because that one is just okay for me. But is it kind of sort of in that same family? Oh, the plum is invisible. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, well, I could probably get into it if you can't really. Because y'all know sometimes with vanilla, if they add another scent, the the other scent usually kind of take over so that's good to know that's good to know mm. see now you got my eyes now you got my eyes open smoke vanilla now y'all know i love a good old smoky note love that love that so if it's smoky yes i'm gonna be for that i'm gonna be for that so i'm most definitely going to um try to yes please thumbs up the stream y'all thumbs up the stream so yes i'm most definitely going to try that um but first i'm i'm gonna um exchange two more items because y'all know i did buy that i don't even know the price point I don't even know the price point. Let me see what the price point is, y'all, real quick. The price point of the Easter one, that Tutti Frutti one, oh, it's $16.95. Oh, $16.95. So I ain't going to be able to exchange that one because I did buy two of those. And I did buy two of the pineapple one. And I don't, I think the pineapple one might be $17.95. So, I don't know. I might have to go ahead and give up my, the water lily one. Because that's the $18.95. And I did buy it as a backup. But I got a feeling that's going to be around for semi-annual. If not, I could always buy it in the mini. And be satisfied with just having a full size and a mini. But, y'all know, your girl on the budget. So, <sighs> I got to do what I got to do. I know I want all 10 of these. Is it 10? So, yeah, I know I want all 10 of these um, luck, everyday luxury. So, I got to make it happen. I got to sacrifice some of my backups. And I'm not telling nobody else to do what I do. I'm not doing that. Um, y'all shop the way y'all shop. And I'm going to shop the way I shop. And I get it. Sometimes people don't like it. But I got I got so much stuff. I got too much stuff. So sometimes you got to sacrifice some backups, especially if it's backups that's that's still in the store. Yes, welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, y'all. Or good morning to some of those. It's, it's almost noon for me. It's like 1130. So yes, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, like I said, leave in the comments, how do you feel about Bath & Body Works doing the Everyday Luxury Collection? Do you feel like Bath & Body Works should, should not do these dupes? Don't get on the bandwagon with other companies? Or do you feel like, yay, I'm happy that they are giving their, their people what they need? I personally like it. I love the fact that Bath & Body Works has this collection. Because when you think about Bath & Body Works... A lot of people, not me, but a lot of people look at Bath and Body Works as kitty, childish. You know, only kids shop at Bath and Body Works. So the fact that Bath and Body Works is, is moving over into a grown and sexy, you know, you could wear our fine fragrances as perfumes. I love it. I love it. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. I know every some people feel different. They feel like they only like the old Bath & Body Works. They like the way Bath & Body Works used to do things. I love the fact that they have this. I feel like now I know Bath & Body Works products. I know, you know, what their products stand, not stand for, but how their products work. You know, I know... You know, if I spray it, I'm going to smell it for a little while or whatever. Whereas, whereas with some other products, you spray it and it's gone. 
you know, and you you taking that chance, and it's your money. So I love the fact that now I don't have to go to Target and buy the Finery brand, even though that Finery brand is good, you know, or some of these other companies. So I love it. I ain't mad at them at all. I'm not mad at all. So yes, um, and really that's it, y'all. Besides my haul. Um, you like the dupe, but wish everybody was a dupe in the same set. Facts, facts. And that's the reason why I'm not going to buy that old cherry. I'm not getting old cherry. And I'm not getting the one that's supposed to smell like um, Baccarat. I'm not getting that one either. Because, and I really don't want, if they got one that smells like the, um, what is that other one that everybody be talking about? I don't want that one either. The, the pink bottle. Um, Delina. If they got one that smell like Delina, I'm passing on that one too. Because when I tell you I have so many of those dupes, I don't need no more. I don't need no more Delina dupes. None. I don't need no more Baccarat dupes. I got the real Baccarat and I got the um, Zora version. So I don't need no more. So, I'm going to pass on them. If any of these smell like that, I'm passing. Yes. Everybody's duping Delina. Everybody's duping uh, Baccarat. So, yeah. So, my haul, y'all. My haul. It's, it ain't nothing, to be honest. <laughs> I only got three things. And, of course, y'all know I had to get my favorite. Since we don't have the full size, I had to just go ahead and grab some minis so i did grab two of the daffodil daydream because this scent is so good oh my goodness to me it's good in did i like it in the soap i can't remember if i like it in the soap because i swapped my soaps out for something else for that um brightest bloom but i love this scent I love this scent. Love it in the fine fragrance. Love it in the candle form. Um, I'm not sure. If, does it come in a wallflower? I don't even think it comes in a wallflower. If it do, I didn't even buy it. But yeah, so I did grab two of these because again, like I said, we don't have the um, full size. So I have to get it in the minis. And the last thing I got is Dressed in White. Decided to go ahead and grab a Dressed in White. So just to try it out, you know, this just came out for my area yesterday. And because, and because um, we haven't had a sale yet to get the full size, I just went for the mini. Mm, it's not bad. It's not bad. Most definitely giving me like a, a perfume, like a luxury perfume or something. It's not giving like body, like body mist, fine fragrance mist. It's giving like a perfume. You know what? I didn't even see that one. First sight. I didn't see that. Do they have it in the mini? Yeah, this is, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. So basically that's it y'all That's all I got I just grabbed three things and that was it And I'm done until it's time to buy candles But like I said y'all I'm going to have to kind of pull back a little bit Now that your girl got a car note I can't be blowing all my money At Bath and Body Works no more <laughs> Oh it's not available In the um, mini Okay Yeah I really wish I really wish I could get my hands on a full size But because I can't this this will do this will do it takes forever to get through a whole bottle of um fine fragrance anyway so it is what it is so i ain't gonna hold y'all no longer shout out to my mvp riders thank you thank you thank you for holding your girl down thank you for always supporting me watching anything coming in here and spending this little little, little few minutes with me <laughs> truly do appreciate it also shout out to my replay gang thank you thank you thank you for holding your girl down thank you for watching the replay and i get it you can't be here in the moment but you're watching the replay so thank you also replay gang make sure you're subscribed so anytime i shout my mvp writers out you know 
I'm talking about you, you, and you too, boo. Also, my girl, my girl, my girl, my girl said this, and she said she ain't playing about it. I'm just saying. I'm just passing the message. That's all I'm doing. I'm just passing the, passing the message. That's all I'm doing. And she said, emoji crew, emoji crew. Emoji crew, emoji crew. Shout out to my emoji crew. I see y'all holding that comment area down. I appreciate that. I also love comments. Leave those comments. Leave those emojis. Do all that stuff I usually say. It helps me with the algorithm. It helps you to recommend my videos to those people who don't know. Help me help them. Help me help them. Because they don't know we out here having fun. We giving information. We over here laughing. And other people see us. And they just, they want to know what's going on. What is she doing in that car? As I told y'all, the police set her for a while. <laughs> trying to figure it out. Uh, okay. Dressed in white is available in a wallflower. Most definitely will grab that one on the next sale. So, yes, y'all. Do all those things I usually say do in the stream. Thumbs up. Leave your girl comments. Hit the notification. Bing. Hit the notification bell so you'll know anytime your girl posts. Most definitely going to post on my community tab those two fragrances that's very similar. Um, I think the Zora one is called Glim. Glim. I can't even remember. Glim of something. I can't, I can't remember. So I will post it on my community page so y'all can see. Um, yeah. And also, it's supposed to be similar to Joe Malone, Scarlet Poppy, Intense. So, yeah. So, if you kind of on the fence about that musk, um, fine fragrance, it's supposed to be like the Joe Malone scent. So, yeah. Scarlet Poppy, the red bottle. Those are the expensive bottles. Those bottles be like a hundred and almost two hundred dollars, and y'all already know Joe Malone really don't throw. I, I would say throw. Joe Malone is more of a layering perfume. Their scents is not heavy, but because that one is intense, it might be slightly heavy. I don't know. I have never smelled it, so I don't know. But I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna make my way home, eat me some lunch, and then it'll be time for me to get back on that work clock. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, y'all. So, y'all have an amazing day. The temperature is cold today. It's 44 degrees, but it's it's windy. It's it's cold. And then I wore my raincoat because it was raining earlier, but I'm finna put my coat on. It's cold. It's cold. It's windy, and I cannot be sick. Uh-uh. So, y'all have an amazing day. And I will see y'all in the next one. Subscribe. Click the thumbs up. Um, do all those things. Everything helps your girl out. And I'll see y'all in the next one. All right. Peace. Wrong hand. Peace. <laughs> all right. See y'all in the next one.